Hi there. This afternoon I'm taking a look at some South African wines and trying to um, assess them in comparison with um, their relative position with their grape varieties compared to other wines from the rest of the world. Um, so at the moment I'm looking at Ken Forrester's Old Vine Reserve Chenin. Um, and uh, Ken Forrester's a bit of a Chenin specialist from, from um, the Cape and it's to be noted that this vintage is 2007 so that's had quite a bit of time in bottle um, also to note unusually for south african wine the wine has a still been closure so that will have had a good oxygen seal there it won't have been um, affected by the cork um, first thing to note about this wine is is just to look at it and look at, look at that color it's a lovely richness from its bottle age i would assume um, and smelling it it's got a wonderful sort of honeyed wax polish um, aroma, almost sort of a little bit like sort of honeycomb brittle, the sort of sweets that, that people have. Um, I understand the wine was um, both fermented partially in, in oak and possibly some tank as well, and then aged in oak. Um, and you can get sort of vanilla notes, so presumably some new oak um, on the palate. The wine's got a lovely roundedness. Um, again, there are those honeyed notes, but there's more sort of white uh, peach sort of flavors, juicy, almost getting to more sort of apricotty, uh, quite good freshness. Um, alcohol doesn't seem to be overbearing, although I think it's it's fourteen percent alcohol, um, but that's that's nicely in balance. There actually there is a richness to the finish. And there's a creamy texture, whether that's as a result of um, a little bit of lees going on in the barrel there, or um, and there's and there's just a richness to it that I don't think there's any sugar sweetness in there at all, but there does just feel like a real sort of ripeness. Um, but the freshness keeps it uh, the finish long. I, I can feel myself salivating. It's it, it, it it's got lovely acidity there. Um, one of the reasons I'm concentrating on South African wine this week is that um, we're getting lots of reports that the South African wine industry is in quite a bit of trouble. Um, as a result of their COVID regulations, um, they've gone into a third period of prohibition. So they're not selling wine and they're finding it incredibly difficult to export wine. There are wineries in the Cape with, they reckon somewhere in the region of a quarter of a million litres of wine still in tank with their next harvest coming up. Um, there are estimates that there are somewhere in the region of 80 wineries and probably about 350 wine growers um, at risk over the next 18 months if this situation continues. Um, certainly the first two prohibitions South Africa experienced cost their industry, they, they estimate seven and a half billion rand, which is about half a billion US dollars. So the times are difficult for South African producers and if you want to support them and if you are having difficulty finding their wines, I'd like to suggest you come to Wine Searcher um, website um, and we have an app that you can download for your phone but we're at um, wine-searcher.com um, and what you can do is you can type the name of the wine you're looking for into a search box and you'll be told where the wines are available um, and you can narrow that down to the country where you are. Um, and certainly from my experience today tasting these wines, I would say that South Africa's wines can compete on world stage. Um, and I hope that you're able to find them and yeah, try a few, see, how you, see if you enjoy them as much as I do. Best of luck with that. Bye now.